this is how you use selection tools in Adobe Illustrator. So the first thing you want to do is we want to go to our tools panel and we're going to select a rectangle. And we're going to draw it out. All you do is you click and you drag and it'll come out. And what we want to do is we're going to add some color to this. And you'll notice down in the lower left there are two squares and we want to fill it with a color. So we can double click on that white color and just drag this anywhere in here to get a different color. All right, now we're going to click our selection tool and we're gonna click away. Now when we wanna select an item, we can go over to our tools, click the selection tool and you'll notice when you hover above a tool, you'll see the uh, tool tip that gives you a shortcut to the actual way you can pick that tool without always having to drag your mouse over. Some of them won't have a tool tip. But you click on it and you'll notice that the bounding box is now around the item. So that's one way to select an item. But you'll also notice that when you select this item, there are different points on the corners. And sometimes you may want to select a point and you may want to change something with that point. So underneath your selection tool, you'll notice you have a direct selection tool. And you can click that. And what you can do is you can drag a bounding box and it will actually select it. Now you'll notice if we were to zoom in, this little corner right here is dark. This corner is open, which means this one is the only one selected. So if I decide to move that corner with my arrows, and if we want to make a bigger difference, we can use the shift key, you'll notice that's the only one moving. Using that selection tool is a way to actually select only endpoints. Another quick way is underneath, you'll notice that you have a lasso tool. It's two under the direct selection tool. And this, instead of dragging out in a square or rectangular shape, you can actually circle in different shapes to select more areas that may be of complex shapes. And that is actually how we're gonna be able to select this side, doing the same thing as before, and we'll be able to use our shift keys, arrow keys, to select different points on the shape. And that's how you use a selection tool in Adobe Illustrator.